All these guns plus more are in the hands of criminals tonight after a burglar breaks into a man's home and clears out his gun collection. Good evening, I'm Tom Haynes. And I'm Sine Simpson. Crooks took thousands of dollars worth of cash and jewelry, all of it from Paul McCord's Fairburn home. But he's worried about the 12 guns they ripped off. McCord is trying to help police track the weapons down, but that's not easy. Fox House George Franco joins us now live from McCord's home with the story. George? Well, Tom and Sine, let me show you something here. Look at this very pronounced bow on this gate here. The homeowner here says that's because someone stole his truck and rammed it through the gate after rifling through his home, stealing thousands of dollars in jewelry, cash, and guns. Do you have any weapons left? They took all the weapons. They got them all except for knives. Paul McCord admits his gun safe in the laundry room was not locked last Friday when someone broke into his home and stole about $20,000 worth of guns, jewelry, cash, and tools. Quite a few guns, all my wife's jewelry. We had a little cash in the house. They took the cash. They took a welding machine, uh, a couple of grinders, two cordless drills, and a jigsaw. McCord says his biggest concern are the dozen weapons stolen, including a couple of AK-47 style rifles and antique shotgun given to him by his his father, a 357 Magnum pistol, and other guns. Well, the guns are on the street somewhere. I haven't heard from the police. They haven't followed up and let me ask me anything. They haven't come process the crime scene. Fulton County Police say the serial numbers from the stolen weapons have been entered into databases available to law enforcement across the nation. But McCord says he had records for only a few of the weapons stolen. I don't keep very good records apparently because I only came up with four serial numbers. That's another reason I need to talk to detectives. All of my guns were old. They're easily identifiable just due to their age. <laughs> McCord says whoever broke in while he, his daughter, and wife were away fed his dogs peanut and butter to keep them quiet. The crooks pried open the back door, then, McCord says, filled his truck with the guns and other loot, then stole the vehicle, crashing it through the front gate to get away. What do you want to say to whoever did this? Now, turn your life over to the Lord before it's too late because the person you're hurting the most is yourself. 